does God demand blood and sacrifice? Do these things please God? Do these uh, appease his wrath that is upon the people? Can God accept you even if you have one sin on you? Is he able to forgive you by his love and mercy? Like the way in Islam? Yes, he's able to forgive you for... for Without it. blood? Without shedding of blood? No, no, because the Bible says very clearly without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sin. Yeah. Yeah. So that is my point. So why does God need blood? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's quite... That's a question you should be asking yourself, you know? It's, it's something which is quite uh, significant because if God is always demanding blood, yes, then, I don't know, have you got the Bible on you? Uh, yes. Yeah. Open Hebrews 5 and read in there because it clearly states that, that God doesn't require a sacrifice. So what's the gist of what you think? So, so basically it says in, in the book of Hebrews, I'm not sure exactly which chapter, yeah. that God doesn't require sacrifice. Oh, he's quoting a psalm of David. No, no, it's not. He's quoting a psalm of David where David says, with, with sacrifices and burnt offerings, I am not pleased. Yeah, so in Psalms and also in the New Testament, in Hebrews, it seems like according to David and both and Jesus, because it's quoted that again, seems like the Old Testament law of sacrifices wasn't working for God. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. No, no, no. So all that blood shedding was for no reason. It, sorry, it, 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 it provided a temporary covering for sin is the best I think Hebrews says of the Old Testament law. Yeah, but um, how is it temporary when it wasn't working in the first place? <laughs> Regardless of temporary or permanent, you want to say something? Yeah, <laughs> I, I just want to say that... Um, Are you a Christian by the way? I am a Christian, okay. yeah. I just What's your name? Matthew. Matthew, I'm Hashem. Nice to that meet you. That is Simon. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice Come here, it's okay. So you can be in front of the cameras. So. Um, I just wanted to say that the whole thing about the sacrifice in the Old Testament, the whole point of, oh, we don't need sacrifices anymore. No, no, I'm not talking about anymore. I'm talking about before. Did you require sacrifices in the time of Moses, for example? Because we just read a passage and you were listening. You did, yeah. It says God did not desire sacrifices or burnt offering. What do you make of that? Well, I think it's very clear in other parts of the Bible that God does require sacrifices. I mean, we see it consistently. No, but he says that clearly. He doesn't. He didn't desire it. Are you saying the Bible is not being truthful? I think you just have to look. Because at it looks like you're I think somehow. He's pointing to Jesus, basically saying. Yeah. That the Old no, no. This was in the New course. Testament time. Hebrews is written in yeah, the New Testament time. Know, so they are pointing to the Old Testament that God did not desire sacrifices and burnt offering. Now, our, you're not, saying not that, is, that was necessary, in, in, in but the Bible is saying that was not necessary. Now, whom do I believe? You or the Bible? The Bible. The, 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 the Bible? The Let me ask you this. If your neighbor's dog came and messed up your garden and put all rubbish, went into the bin and, I don't know, uh, and, and spread the garbage everywhere, yeah. yes, would you forgive him? Yes. Yes? yes. Is that love? That's love, but it also may be love for me to, t to say to him, look, can you please stop doing that because that creates yeah, a problem. But you didn't demand anyone's blood, did you, to do that? But I'm not God. My point exactly. <laughs> why, can, why are you more merciful than your God? I'm, I'm not more merciful than my if God. If God can forgive, then he's merciful. If God demands blood, that is called payment in blood. Simon, with all due respect, my God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yes, one of his name is al wudud yes, the most loving. And he's able to forgive without the shedding of blood. He's by his, by his attribute of love. And the attribute is mercy, or rahman or rahim But you're saying you can never be forgiven unless and until the blood of a perfectly sinless person like Jesus Christ is shed. Am I right? Yes. Yes. yes? Yeah, you know how absolutely. to say it proudly? And unapologetically, and sin is not remitted without the blood of God's Son and your But that's deceit. exactly what I'm trying to understand. Okay, let me ask you this. Can, was, Jesus, was, Jesus able to forgive, was Jesus able to forgive? Jesus, Jesus was able to forgive, yes, because he was both high priest God. and sacrifice and God. Okay. And nothing else. If Jesus was able to forgive, why the need for blood? And, and to tell you that you, that you oh, are forgiven, way, you that to tell you this that was you are forgiven when you're not would not be loving you because you are not. No, no, I don't see. Honestly, look, with all due respect, <laughs> I do not see. You are a sinner and I don't tell you that you are still in da mortal danger of your sin before Almighty God. I am not loving you. Okay, let me ask I'm you this. I'm being nice to 
you, but I am not loving No, if you forgive, so you're stop loving. playing games with eternal redemption. Why are you getting angry with it? That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Inshallah, we'll try to keep... You are not saved and because you are... Missing. He's going into preaching more again. Anyway, I'm glad you're here, Matthew. The blood of Jesus Christ saves people from their sins. Nothing else ever can or ever will.